Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Uh, so today I'll be talking about the, the use of Bulk API 2.0. Um, so if you remember, I, I spoke about Bulk API in brief uh, when I started talking about API. So the Bulk API is pretty much based on the REST principles. Um, so And it's pretty much uh, optimized when it comes to working with a large set of data. I mean, you can pretty much do CRUD operation on it, right? You can do insert, update, delete, you know, in an asynchronous way. So that's the difference you have to understand here. So when we talk about the bulk API, we talk about asynchronous operation. Uh, we're not talking about the synchronous operation unlike SOAP or REST API, right? So if you wanted to process the large set of data, you can't pretty much use the REST API or SOAP. It's not very efficient, okay? Um, so that's that's where the bulk API comes in the picture. So you can uh, process the data, uh, you know, large set of data uh, by uploading it uh, the CSV files, you know, uh, in an asynchronous way. Uh, so that get processed. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'll I'll show you how you can do um, use the bulk API using the workbench. Um, you can use Postman if you like. Postman is pretty pretty handy. I use Postman as well. Uh, but just to make it simple, I'm just going to use the um, uh, workbench. Okay, so the first thing, uh, you know, when you are going to uh, use the bulk API, you need to create a bulk job. Um, so that's one of the things. So how do you create a bulk job? So what do you do? So here we have this. Um, so we put as a jobs, and then we're going to do something called ingest okay and now we will use the post now here you need to add a request so the request will indicate the kind of operation you're going to do so it's going to uh, put it in the form of json so the first thing right so the uh we're going to deal with say uh simple operation you can do any object you want right so i'm going to keep the contact uh, just to add so you're going to do operation so what operation you're after you can do insert you can do update right you can do delete so i'm going to do insert i mean you can you can find this information from trailhead so you know if you want that's pretty simple it's not much complicated um so uh objects right so what object you're after so you can say if you want you can do um you can also do a contact but just to keep it simple I'm um, just going to keep the account. Um, so then we need to know what content type you are after. So content type. Um, I'm after CSV. Uh, CSV. And now just after line ending. Line ending. Uh, so just let me just put um i'm just gonna do crlf so i'm just gonna arrange it a bit oh, God, sorry uh just gonna see if i spell correctly so content type so we got operation that's insert um we got an object that's an account and we got a content type that's csv and the line ending we got crlf okay so let's gonna do let's do execute right so we got this so um we got this id this is a job id um and then we got operation insert and account created by you know that's doesn't matter uh state is open uh concurrency model is paddler content type is csv api version line ending comma delimiter that's comma right so this is it's pretty interesting now we've done that now what we're going to do um so we will add the data to the job so now we created the job right so you know that's the status what you can see here um so we're going to add the data to the job and it's pretty simple so you t you grab this boy here okay and then just copy here and then you because we have to link our data to the specific job id so that's why i need to get this job and then say we're going to put in the batches um right um and uh i'm just going to change this and also I'll put it to put 
right? So I'll just say name. Uh, I was going to say Stu. I'm just going to do uh, John. I was going to say Jete. Um, so, yeah, just account, right? Just for the sake. Okay, now that's cool. Now you have to remember one thing. Uh, you know, this this information is great, but we need to change the, the the header information as well. So you go to header, right? As you can see, we have to deal with the JSON. We are not dealing with the JSON here. We're dealing with the the CSV here. So we put the text slash CSV, and uh, let's see if it works. Finger cross. Okay, that's created. Um, so that's great. So this the raw response has been created, and now that's great. Now what we do? So this is um, we got two zero one. So that is the status code, uh, which pretty much means that you know they successfully created the, the the job data. So which is fantastic in my opinion. Now we have done this. Now we have to close the job, right? Um, so. What that means is that we are letting Salesforce know that, okay, right, it's time to process the data. So we're just going to change uh, to the status from open to upload complete, right? Now, um, so for that, you just go back to the header again and just change this to application. Uh, oh, come on. So just going to do this, control this, and... I'm going to do this, uh, and we're going to close this, and we will do this, and we're going to do state, because right now the state is open, right? And we need to specifically tell Salesforce, hey, uh, we're going to upload complete. I'm done with the job, so can you complete it? So that's okay. Yeah, hopefully the spelling is correct. Um, and... So now we have to do one thing. Now we need to do a bit of, we take the, this batch off, okay? Because we're not putting the data here and we're gonna do patch because we're actually changing it, right? Um, so let's execute and let's see what happens, okay? So now it says upload completed, which is uh, fantastic in my opinion. So with no errors. Now it's let's uh, check the status of the job, right? So it's it's pretty simple how we can do that. Um, so you go to get and see, you know, just gives you the uh, the status of the the job. That's his upload complete panel. It's no problem whatsoever, right? And um, uh, we can also get the uh, job result uh, if you wanted to check that. So what we do, um, we just do. Um, successful results and uh, right so see this is completed right so that's done now let's look at whether we have some here something here uh, come on accounts All right, all accounts. See, we got a drawn here. We just created now. And um, so probably I just might look at the stew as well. At least. Uh, yeah, we, so it's created as well, right? Um, and Jete, that's the one. Um All right, so that's that's pretty cool, right? It's simple, nice and easy. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. You see how simple it is, right? Using uh, bulk API. So that's how you use, right? You can use Postman if you like, right? I mean, I'm a big fan of Postman, but just wanted to. But the, you know, some companies will not allow to use the Postman because if you don't have, um, because you know, if you're working for a big company, right? Let's say if, if you're working for a big government agency, you need to get clearance. From the security to you know to ensure that you know you're using the right software you just can't go and use it right so that's something you have to keep in consideration so you know case by case right so workbench is pretty much accepted 
uh, most of the places, right? And so do Postman, but you know, you need to check. So that's pretty much I wanted to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have an amazing uh, Sunday. Adios.